Okay, so in this video, I want to show you how to use Olama on Jupyter Notebook. So, Olama is a platform that allows running large language models or LLMs locally on your machine, providing access to models such as Olama 3.1 without needing cloud infrastructure. It is commonly used for natural language processing tasks such as text generation or chatbot development. So, Olama is a platform that you can use to download or use the LLM models. Now, um, here uh, I show you uh, three steps you need to do to use Olama models. First, you need to download the Olama from olama.com slash download and then here you can choose your operating system such as Mac OS, Linux or Windows and then after you download you need to install the Olama for Python you can uh, install this using pip by type the command pip install Olama as you can see in this uh, block so you can use pip install olama next you want to download an llm model from olama so you visit the olama.com slash library here you can find many um, llms models for so for example i want to use llama 3.1 and then I want to use uh, the the 8 billion version and then you can just uh, copy and paste this command to download and run the Llama 3.18 billion models so you can type this Llama pull and then the model model name Llama 3.18b Okay, next I want to show you a simple code to ask or to use the LLM models. Here, um, first we import Olama, so import the Olama library for Python, and then we define the prompt message to send to the LLM. So I ask the LLM what is pandas data frame, and then uh, I use Olama the chat method to uh, get a response and we specify the LLM model to use and here I'm using Llama 3.1 at billion then we create the message format uh, expected by the API here we as a user so role as user and then the content is the prompt we ask to the LLM and then we save the response to variable so here response variable and then we print the content of the LLM's response and LLM response uh, the output is in dictionaries format so we need to search uh, for a key uh, in this case the key is message and another key is the content so we print response message content here okay let's run this code and it takes um, a few seconds to LLMs to produce the uh, response Okay, so here is the response, and as you can see, this is actually in a markdown format here. Okay, this is a, in a markdown format. Now we can actually display the response in a markdown format, and I'll show you how. Okay, so I created this uh, code for better readability. And we use uh, from ipython.display, we import markdown and display. And the code is still the same as before, except for the output. So 
we display the output in markdown format here. Okay, let's run this code. And same as before, we wait for a few seconds for the LM response. And it should uh, write in or display it in markdown format. Okay, so here is the LLM response, and now this is much uh, better uh, response. We display this in a markdown format, okay? The difference is uh, that we use markdown and display library, and then we uh, output the LLM response using markdown format, okay? Now, um, we still need to wait a few seconds. Now, we can use streaming feature in Olama. We can uh, use that feature. I'll show you how. So we can use uh, streaming response. So we here enable streaming response. So I'm also using this uh, library, clear underscore output. And it's still same. Uh, here, I use um, stream parameter, stream equals true to enable streaming. And then we initialized an empty re response string here. Then we need to uh, use for loop to iterate through the stream tokens. For every token, we append the current token to the message response. Okay. And then we clear the previous output. And then we display the updated response using also using markdown format. So let's run this code. Okay, now as you can see, this LLM response is in streaming mode. So you can uh, see without you need to wait for the full response. So right away you can see the output without having to wait. Okay, I think that's it for this video. On the next video, I want to show you how you can use um, continuous chat loop.